short time ago, the city, San Diego City Council voted to accept a controversial settlement deal over the 101 Ash Street property. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. I'm Jesse Pagan in for Marcella Lee. An asbestos issue has left the building mostly empty for the past five years, and critics say this deal should have never gone forward. The CBS 8's Richard Allen is live downtown tonight with an update on all this. Richard? And Jesse and Carlo, City Council voted 6-3 to three to accept this highly controversial settlement surrounding 101 Ash Street and Civic Center Plaza, bringing to an end at least one part of this messy real estate saga that stretches back to 2017 when Kevin Faulkner was the mayor of San Diego. Let's take a look at some video of the building in question here. That was when it was discovered that 101 Ash Street, which the city had secured in a lease-to-own deal with Sister Development, was uninhabitable because of asbestos which would have required about $140 million to remedy. So essentially, the city was paying on a lease for an empty building. Now, under the terms of the settlement, the city will take over ownership of 101 Ash Street and Civic Center Plaza for $132 million. City officials plan to use funds previously set aside for other capital projects to help foot the bill for this. Now, the city will also be refunded $7.4 million in profits the development company made on the Ash Street deal, while Sistera would keep more than six million dollars in profits from a similar deal it made on the Civic Center Plaza deal. Now opponents of the settlement including council members Vivian Moreno, Marnie Von Wilford and Monica Montgomery Stepp who all voted against the settlement say it does not hold the development company responsible and also takes taxpayer money away from improvement projects the city needs. Now, Mayor Todd Gloria acknowledged this was not an easy decision but that the situation the city finds itself in now leaves no opportunity for a perfect Perfect outcome. And there is also civil litigation and a city lawsuit moving forward surrounding this deal. One of that, the city lawsuit, is expected to hit the courts in about six months' time, showing that even though this settlement was approved, this saga continues.